We are seeing a lot of coaches moving around, including with the Rams as well. Uh, but let's talk about the Rams, the not the betting favorite to repeat because they're 10 to 1 odds. They're third right now. Todd, they have a chunk of players that are headed to free agency. What do you think about these odds for the Rams? They do, Amanda, and I think this is a buyer beware. If you're looking for the Rams to repeat at 10 to 1, this is not a price that I'd get anywhere near in terms of tying my money up for north of 300 days. Well, we saw that OBJ has the torn ACL. I'm not sure he was going to fit into the Rams' plan going forward anyways. You're talking about the potential retirement of Andrew Whitworth, but the biggest absence and a storyline that we're going to follow until he makes a decision will be Aaron Donald. If he's not there to anchor that defensive line, that is a massive hole to fill because when you look at this Rams team, they never placed an emphasis on getting great linebacker play. They had a patchwork secondary that was held together by spitting bubblegum into that fourth quarter of the game yesterday against the Bengals. And there are some real concerns about their philosophies, knowing that they mortgage the future to win now. I'm not gonna take anything away from what they accomplished. The goal is to win a Super Bowl, but the Rams aren't constructed to have that longevity. Matthew Stafford should have his work cut out for him on the offensive side. And I think a price at 10 to one with a franchise in transition, not a number that I'm getting anywhere near at this point. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.